Today I'm going to do a beauty haul. Um, it's this is a combination of a few products that I've been that I bought in about the past month. So first I have Clarins Skin Illusion Foundation. This one is in beige number 107. Um, it's pretty fair. I have really fair skin, so need the lightest almost. Uh, it has mineral and plant extracts. It also has an SPF of 10, which is when I want, which is actually on the lower end I found for foundations or what I normally use in foundations. They usually have like an SPF of 25. So this is actually on the lower end for me. It is a liquid, has a little pump, and I love this foundation. It comes on really, it goes on really, really smooth. Um, there's a lot. In the winter, I'm oily and dry, and this kind of seemed to fix all my problems. I have little dry patches, and it moisturizes them great, but then it doesn't make my, you know, the rest of my face break out. So I really like this one. The next thing I got, which was a bit... I think it was a bit overzealous with spring coming um, was the Essie it's a very peachy orange <laughs> and I'm wearing it right now and it's called Tarte Deco super springy I love it once it's summer this will be really great the next thing I got which was Mac Mineral Eye. This, not to be confused with their other makeup set spray, their Mineral Eye's collection. It's a bit different. Um, this is Charged Water Skin Hydration, and it's absolutely amazing. Um, the bottle's sparkly, but it's not sparkly on your face. Um, I love it. It's so good. Uh, it just makes your skin feel amazing. I even use it. Uh, I've been using it lately, even when I'm not wearing makeup, and just spray it on my face, and it instantly makes me feel refreshed. So I would definitely go get this. It's amazing. Um, next thing, next few things actually are from MAC. I kind of went on a binge there. I usually do. I like MAC makeup. It's very dramatic and stays on so this one is a replacement I've had before I really like it it is their paint pot I'm sure you've heard of them um, this one's in painterly which is a nude color and um, it doesn't have any sparkle to it they also have one called untitled and the Untitled is very shimmery, and this I got because I've been using a lot of shimmer on my eye, and when you put the Untitled that already has shimmer, and then you put extra shimmer on top, you're just super glittery. So this was great. This is a great base. This you use, you put on your eye, and then you put on all your eyeshadows, and all your eyeshadows stick to it, and you can layer and make amazing smoky eyes and amazing everything with Painterly because it's nude. It also comes in other colors, and if you want the other colors, I've used them as just as they are. Um, even though they're like a primer for your eye, or they're used as a primer for your eye, um, you can use them not as just an eye base or a primer, but as eyeshadow. So the next one is also from MAC. I have a few more from MAC. And it's this. This is new. This came out over the holiday. And I'm still, they're still back ordered on the one I want, which is something blonde. Um, but I bought this one, which is Light Touch. And it is, this is called Press Pigment. So it's like they're loose pigment. So this is a less messy version, which is a pressed pigment. They're super glittery. They're really, they're really, really pretty. Um, and they come out super shimmery, and you can do everything with them. And you can add water to it and almost make it like a little paste. And then you can even kind of do it like a, as a liner. It won't fall. Um, so 
yeah, these are really, really cool. And I'm just waiting on a few more colors because they sold out. But this one, it's called Light Touch. It's like a champagne-y pink color. And um, I used this and I just put it all over my eye and did a liner and it looked awesome. So it's a really good just kind of one step and you look amazing. Uh, I definitely, definitely recommend these. I'll be getting more for summer too. This is just, I just love them. The next thing is again, it's another replacement. It's something I always use, but I had to go with my little Mac crazy thing. Um, it's Mac brush cleanser. I have all Mac brushes, so I obviously love their brush cleanser. Um, it just, it's so much easier. I know you can use conditioner to wash your brushes, but it's easier if you just have this and you just spray them on and you do a little swirl, you're good to go. So, love it. And this, you, this, their, their brush cleanser works for any brushes, just as most brush cleansers work for any brushes as well, but I just like to kind of stick with the system, MAC brushes, MAC brush cleanser. And my last MAC attack is this baby. It's again from the MAC Mineralize collection and it's the Volcanic Ash Exfoliator. This stuff is amazing. They had it, this is pretty new, um, but they had something very similar a few years back. And it comes out black. It has real volcanic ash in it. So it's not just the name, it's not just because it you know, looks black or whatever. It's really black, it's very grainy, and it has real volcanic ash in it. And it's insanely amazing. It's so good. I, I just love it. Um, use it one to three times a week, and I've been used, I've used it, been using it two times a week, and I instantly just feel a difference in my face. It's like it gets your pores really clean, you f your skin feels so clean after you use it, which is kind of funny because it's something that's really dirty in it, um, and I just, I love it. So I, I love this. It's so good. Um, especially if you had a breakout. I mean, it's so like grainy that it's really scrubs into those pores. I would definitely recommend My next thing is this, which is the Yves Saint Laurent Touche Eclay. This is the one of the best kept celebrity secrets, uh, makeup artist secrets, is this. It is by Yves Saint Laurent. It's really expensive. I think it's like about, if I remember, I think it's like $40. And um, it's like a little brush. And then the bottom, you push. And it's a pump, and it pushes it up. It is a million things in one. It's a concealer. It's a highlighter. It's a contour. It's everything. Uh, it makes your skin so flawless. You paint it on your little spots, or if you need to paint it on your under eye, or your nose area, or your mouth area, whatever it may be. It's a pro oh, it's a primer as well. It's everything. It's ugh, it's a miracle. You get, you just, you look flawless. You look absolutely flawless. So this is definitely worth it. And it lasts quite a bit because, like I said, you don't use a lot. Um, you can, but you don't have to. Uh, this is definitely the in, worth the investment. And even if you buy it just for special occasions, just for those occasions where you're going to be taking lots of pictures or whatever, it's perfect. This is a good investment piece. My next thing is um, Marc Jacobs Daisy. I'm sure a lot of you have or used the scent. I have just the Rolly Ball. I got it as a gift, and I love I love it. It just reminds me of spring and summer 
and it's kind of been on like a little spring summer kick with all my makeup very light and airy and fresh and um just makes me happy when I wear it so and the rollerball is very it's inexpensive it's a good way it's a good trick actually um if you like a certain perfume but you don't want to go spend the money on it get a roll ball because they're between depending on the uh, perfume they're between 20 and 30 dollars and this one is does it say the ounces it doesn't they're about an ounce or two depending on it and um they're potent I mean you put it where you would normally put your perfume roll it on your wrists roll it on your back and ears your chest and you smell great and you can stick me in your purse double my next thing is this it's their real by benefit it is a mascara I feel like a noob because apparently this is pretty new um, but mascara is my favorite make uh, like makeup product I think that with big eyelashes you can just completely transform any look and I love mascara I just I love it and I love trying new mascaras and I was really I felt so silly that I didn't know about this one because I love I mean I love benefit but it's the one makeup that I always forget about I just always forget about it they came out with this they're real and I guess it's a miracle and I bought it and it is it's an absolute miracle um it's a plastic applicator that's spiky I don't know if you can really see on the camera it's spiky and on the tip is even spiky and it's amazing it's just so good your eyes are big and bold and the more you layer the thicker they look it's awesome um I love it it is it was about $23 and I just got black I used to use NARS a lot when I was in high school and then I just kind of became a complete matte convert and um I've just started to kind of get back into it but I love it so um, this is NARS, and it is the, I still have the packaging on it, so, mm -hmm. it's the Laguna Bronzer. Uh, it's amazing. I have really fair skin, and I can use it, and I also know people who are a lot tanner than I am, and they use it. It's just the perfect bronzer, and depending on how much you load up on your face, you can use it and it's perfect for summer it's perfect for every season and you can't beat it my last two things on my beauty makeup haul are elf matte lip color by target or that's where I got it they also sell it in a bunch of other places um, and this one's in neutral and it's really the perfect nude lip and it's a dollar um, it's a bit drying on the lips but I've noticed if I put a little chapstick on before I put this on it's perfect and it lasts a long time and for a dollar you can't really beat it so I like um, I really like this and then a funny story I used to use MAC makeup wipes and they're pretty expensive and they just seem to, it didn't matter if you were wearing waterproof makeup or what makeup you were use, wearing, you were always, you could always get it off. And I loved them. I ran out of them and I got, I didn't have time to go to the mall. So I went to Target and I was looking for just a replacement just for like about a week. And everything's kind of pricey. If you're just looking for it for a week, I mean, it's between 8 and $10 for a package of makeup wipes. And I just found that really ridiculous because I knew I wasn't really going to like them. And I was only going to use them for a week until I could get over to MAC and buy my usual MAC 
makeup remover wipes. And then I came across the e.l.f. section and the e.l.f. brand, which is Eyes, Lips, Face, and they have makeup wipes that are $3 for $20. Three dollars for twenty, and I thought, you know what? For three bucks, can't go wrong. Might have to use a couple to get a whole, you know, face off, a face of makeup off. But like I said, I'm going to Mac in a week, so I'll just for three bucks, no loss. I opened them up, and they smelled exactly like the Mac wipes. They felt exactly like the Mac wipes. They removed makeup exactly like the Mac wipes. These Elf makeup wipes are identical, if not the same, for $3. They only come with 20 You can't get a bigger package, but just buy a few packages. So here they are. ELF Makeup Remover Cleaning Wipes, $3. They are almost identical <laughs> to the MAC wipes. In fact, even the packaging, this is what the old MAC pack used to look like before they kind of did a whole kind of product update uh, many years ago. So I love them. I don't think I'll ever, sorry, buy MAC makeup wipes again because I found these. They're the exact same and they're three dollars. So go to Target and buy the e.l.f. makeup wipes. They're just incredible was my makeup haul. I'll put all the products in the description bar below as well with the prices and um, you guys all have a wonderful beautiful day.